Okay, before I start today's attract mode and main menu theme setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel, just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide like this one you're watching today. And if you're into attract mode, I'm going to be uploading a couple of more next week. So today, and something I've not yet uploaded, is how to actually get a consistent theme running through attract mode and also giving it a main menu so to do this what we're going to do today is open up a brand new install or portable install of attract mode i've got it just here and in my roms folder i'm going to just drag that in there to get this ready now i've used an attract mode forum to get the theme layout for what i'm doing today and as we can see here through the pictures this is what your setup could look like but on top of that this actual layout is active now sadly on the attract mode forums a lot of the links for themes are long gone they're dead so they don't work but as luck would have it this actual layout the link for it to download it actually works and it supports many different systems just here so this is going to give us themes for all the arcade classics all the microcomputers most of the consoles i believe and we can download cosmos theme version 1.1 just here by going to the mega link now if we just go back to the attract mode directory We've got a layouts folder just here. If I just open this one, you'll get all the default layouts. And, you know, some of them's okay and some of them's not so great. So let's actually pimp this out. Here's my Cosmo theme that I've downloaded. And once we open this, we've got a couple of folders inside. And the one we're looking for is layouts. If I go in there, what we're going to do is drag and drop all of those folders inside an attract mode plus layouts folder. Just wait for this to extract. And then if we come out of here, the next one we want to go into is menu art. And here we go. So we just got one folder by default here. And if we go in there, that's all we've got. So we're going to go back to that Cosmo theme archive, go into the menu. And we've got five folders here. And we're going to just highlight and drag and drop those into your Attractimo Plus menu art folder. Okay, so the next thing I suggest doing is going into your menu art folder. And just here, if we just go into, say, Will, for example, we're going to find all of the different Will artwork for the different systems. Now, I'm going to be adding Super Nintendo. Now, you need to pay attention to how these are spelt just here. So for this, I'm going to just right click on it, show more options, rename, and I'm just going to copy this for now. Now, if I open up Attract Mode, and here we go. So I'm going to go to Emulators first for this, add Emulator, and I'm going to copy and paste Super Nintendo Entertainment System in here. This theme or the main menu is only going to work if you call it how it says in those folders. So Super Nintendo, for example, Entertainment System needs to be spelt just like this. But just remember, in terms of scraping, we also need to use the game's database conventions as well, which I'm going to go through. So for now, what I'm going to do is just go to ROM paths and I'm going to put this into the correct directory. So I'm going to just press my Windows key and go to my attract mode folder, ROMs, SNES, and I'm going to copy the path of this. And then if I just drop that inside of ROM paths, system identifier, and this is the part where we need to be very accurate with this in terms of scraping. So as luck would have it, I already know how this system is identified with the game's database. So in this case, it's Super Nintendo in capitals, whoops, and SNES in brackets. If I press enter, info source scraper is going to be the game's database. And if I then just go down and generate collection ROM list and scrape artwork. Okay, cool. So we got Super Nintendo sub as we can see. If I press escape, we don't actually have a main menu yet so we can select different systems. So to do this, what I'm going to do is press tab on my keyboard and we're going to go down to general. And from general, we're going to go to startup mode, press enter show displays menu and if i then come out by pressing escape and i'm in super nintendo if i press escape again 
we can now at least see something. So what we're actually going to do is fill on pimp this out right now. So I'm going to press tab, displays, displays menu options, menu style layout. If I press enter on this, and we've now got folders, which I've just downloaded from the attract mode forum. If I set this to say main menu, for example, and press escape to come out, and here we go. So I've now got the main menu and I can actually go into Super Nintendo. And here we go. So let's actually pimp out Super Nintendo because this theme is so cool. If I press my tab button and go to displays, Super Nintendo, layout, and I'm gonna scroll down. Just for example, for this, go to Cosmo SNES, press enter, escape, and here we go. Okay, so as we can see, we've now got Super Nintendo, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is just run through this again with you. And what I'm going to do is very quickly just exit out of attract mode altogether. Okay, so I'm going to go through another one with you. And like I say, it's always the best bet is to go to menu art, wheel for example, and then just search for how it's spelled within here. So just remember that in terms of scraping your artwork from the game's database, which you set up when you're setting up an emulator, that needs to remain the same. But when you're using these wheels, for example, or these layouts, then it needs to be precise. So for the next part, I'm going to be using, say, Sega Mega Drive. So again, just to simplify this, rename, and I'm going to just copy how this is spelled. Now, what I'm going to do next is just go back into Attract Mode. And we're going to open up a new system. So configure by pressing tab, emulators, add emulator and control V to paste Sega Mega Drive. Okay, so next thing I'm going to want to do is obviously enter the ROM path for this. So press Windows key and I'm going to go back into attract mode into my ROMs folder. And I'm going to just copy that directory. Copy and back to attract mode. And here we go, enter. System identifier is going to be Sega Mega Drive. And info source scraper is going to be again the game's database. And if we just then go down to generate collection list and scrape artwork. Okay, back, back. And if we come back out, and there we go, here's Mega Drive. And like I say, we don't have a video because we can't actually scrape that using a tracked mode. That's just for main only, which is going to scrape videos. Now, remember, for your main menu theme, we can actually press tab, displays, display menu options, menu style layout. And I can even set this to an arcade hyperspin look. If I come back out. And here we go. So we've now got our arcade machine in place. And we can also mess around with the theme settings or the layout settings just by simply going to displays, display menu options, layout options, and we can change from uh, vertical wheel to wheel, uh, select spin wheel art, we can change it to marquee providing you've got the artwork for that. If I come back out. And here we go. So we're getting there. So like I say, this is just a very general basic setup guide to get you a main menu with this system. And that's it for today's attract mode and how to set up a theme as well as a main menu. So if you watch this video and you're thinking what on earth is going on, do check out my full comprehensive attract mode setup guide. And I also released a setting up retro watch video yesterday within attract mode, which is really helpful and beneficial to a lot of people out there who wants a real easy way to open up attract mode and get to play retro games straight away. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content on my channel just jamie also check me out on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro